Hey Michael here. Now, with the fires happening the way they have just here on the Brown Mountain, we have an excellent opportunity to compare the difference between an area that's had a hazard reduction burn and an area that hasn't had a hazard reduction burn. Now we've seen lots of things in the media, toing and froing, uh, saying things like the hazard reduction burns don't change the speed at which the fire spread. Well, I guess we could split hairs on that, but we witnessed here in Bemboka, um, this portion over here was born, uh, burned about 15 months ago. And uh, it was basically late winter, early spring. And the majority of the trees, let's just see how much I can squeeze out in the way of zoom out of this camera. The majority has remained green. It has also burned a second time on the hottest day that we had this year. Uh, was it this year or last year? I can't remember if it was the New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. But anyhow, it was the hottest day. It was like 45 degrees and quite windy. Very strong wind. So this is burnt in the middle of that. Now, I kind of can't argue with the spread speed of the fire. But uh, considering last time we had a swarm of aerial you know, water bombing and so forth going on. And this time we had basically an unattended fire during the worst of time because all the um, aircraft were busy fighting major fires near cities. So we had no air support here. And to me, the fire spread about the same pace, maybe slower than what it did last time. Oops, sorry. Um, but you can see that even after having burned, being burned the second time and on the hottest day, the trees are basically pretty much intact. There are a few dead patches but I'm not even sure they're dead dead. They may actually recover, we'll see how that goes. But there's certainly a lot of green left. Now by contrast, if we go to the other side, around about here is where, from this angle, the division happened. To the left of here, you see the, the area that's been burned only the once, on actually the day after that hottest day, because it took a while for the fire to get from around there to this kind of location. This was already no longer the hottest, windiest day. And you can see, the trees are basically burned top to bottom black. There appears to be no life left in the trees whatsoever. So we could be splitting hairs about the spreading speed of fire has not really been changed much with a fuel reduction, but this is very conclusive. The amount of damage done with a full fuel load on the hottest day, well, that's not even the hottest day, um, does a hell of a lot more damage to the wildlife. You know, I don't think those trees will recover in the next decades. Maybe I'll be proven wrong. We'll see how that goes over the coming year. Um, but it may even be a century before that comes good. Whereas on the other side here, even after the second fire, it looks actually significantly habitable to wildlife. I wouldn't be surprised if birds can't use the trees, and I wouldn't be surprised also if the undergrowth doesn't recover fairly quickly by being sheltered by the tall trees. So ferns and things should recover fairly well. But anyhow, it doesn't take long to see a difference in colour. A lot of green, the typical eucalypt bluey green that we get. Um, versus black and that, uh, I don't know, call it brown. Yeah, a lot of destruction. So I'd say our little valley here is pretty good evidence to, you know, to really look at this issue properly. Fuel reduction burns produce that kind of result, even though this was an accidental runaway fire in winter, dash early spring, it didn't do any near the harm that this first time burn did here in summer the day after the hottest day so this has actually had the fuel reduction burn and the burn on the hottest day and still a lot of green the day after the hottest day and uh, a lot of dead so I guess that pretty much concludes this video uh, if you've had fires in your areas where you've had this kind of contrast available uh, feel free to make a comment maybe a link to a video or a website or whatever uh, feel free to like, share, subscribe, ask a question, leave a comment. Bye for now.